Kenny Richards off the dribble. Looks to go right out at well. Second chance. <laughs> One hand put back. <laughs> You're going to need a big night, you think, from Kayla George without Madgen in the lineup. Absolutely. Nicholson and the block from behind. Great timing by Potter. That's that's hard. Mailey. Potter top of the perimeter. Atwell with a pick for McDonald. Rolling to the bucket is Potter and letting it fly is Amy Atwell. Amy Atwell, she shot the ball so well. One point ball game, three and a half gone the first quarter. Choi Card rolling to the bucket. The foul call from George. One to come at the line for Mackenzie Clint Choi Card. Dare I say she's 100% too now? <laughs> eight, eight out of eight. There you go. Terrific free throw shooting from these two. Bradley into the corner. Three ball goes down. Both teams, are, as I mentioned earlier, are still continuing to push the ball. Nicholson slicing through and uses her body nicely. McDonald speaking off. Well on the wing. Let's it go again for three, and she is feeling it. Six minutes gone in this first quarter. Hurst, not that time. McDonald, great look forward. On the end of it is Atwell, who's got eight to her name. Two point lead is the Lynx. Steph Gorman. Mitch Hoycard. Wow. Goes in off the window. Shibatoni handling the rock. Atwell. She is wow. absolutely feeling it. Got hey. the confidence tonight. <laughs> I'd keep the ball in her hands. I'd be working to get her open. She's flying high with confidence. Absolutely. Nicholson. Now it's George who looks to return fire and does. Shibatoni just got there. Gladly close to causing a deflection. Atwell. He's going to fire oh, again. Oh, my goodness. Three from that spot, Laurie Chiswick. Amy Atwell. Bradley. No good from the elbow. McSpadden, though, extra possession. Clark drains it for Sydney in their hometown, Emma Clark. Well, Sydney right now are shooting the three ball at 42%, thanks mainly to Amy Atwell. Extra find. Gibatoni is open and makes no mistake in the three-point shooting. Of slowing Sydney, uh, slowing Perth down and keeping them out of their transition game. Mailey. Good child with her seat. Her feet set and makes the three in Perth. Mailey. Much really on offer here at the moment for the Perth Lynx unless Gibatoni can make it happen and she does. She little has. friendly roll to help it out. Yeah. Trend that I think Ryan Petrick wouldn't be too disappointed no, with, given that it has been. Absolutely. It has been really. They've gone as she's gone this season as Annalie Maley gets to her spot. George. Now, great vision once again. That is what you call a well executed play. And Chibatoni, the rake and take for the Lynx. Good shots. Euro stepping through the paint and gets the roll. In transition. Sydney get it back. Nearly went down as well for Goodchild. Nicholson will return fire in transition and does. Bradley combines with Rope. Nicholson feel like she's really starting to get involved in this contest, finding George at the baseline. Donald's only taken the two shots so far in this one. Bailey oh. fake the handoff straight to the cup. That brought her bench standing up. Get through hands. Bradley's double, good job with the steal. She's going to let it fly straight away. <laughs> Perth are on fire. Looking to double again, not that time. And Troy Cart, McDonald's, not an off-ball pick. Out to eight seconds. Mailey will join the party. 14 shot clock. Gorman over to clinch, Hoy card. They just keep going down. Now everybody seems to have a little bit of it. Make it nine of 16, Elise Hurst looking to buck the trends. Spatting at the elbow. Canusis combining with her big. Spatting, that's great defense from clinch, Hoy card. 
Mailey in transition. Right up, Nick Spartan. And the extra. Mailey to the strike. What a... A lot of movement here at the moment from the Flames and Chibber Tony. Saw better of it. Straight to the hoop. And fast break points for the Lynx and they lead by 17. And Choi Car with the pick. George poked at it. Stays with McDonald's. Now she'll let it fly from three. Otherwise, Perth will just continue to feel confident and shoot the three ball. Good Childs. That's the dribble. Straight to the cup. Great start, Perth. Good child hesitates that time. Knocking it out to Airy McDonald's. Hit a three right on the buzzer at the end of the second. And she was able to step back and put that three up. George. Great goes answer. Down. Great answer by Kayla George. God, and Atwell lets it fly. Long rebound to Good Child. Atwell inside. Potter's got position. Great position. Potter, hand off to her point guard. Out well, this time feeding nice. the post. Find the pressure on Nicholson, who switched onto the ball. Got there was Atwell, right at the bucket, and George swatted it out of bounds. Mary McDonald's hands it over to Atwell, makes her fifth triple. That is her favorite spot, that corner three. And the turnover as well. Good child this time to the cup. Sydney have numbers here, but fumbling it for Good Child. Moves it onwards to Atwell. And she drains another. She's unconscious out there. What more can you say? That is just such great shit. But you've got to you've got to get something out of the rest of this game. There's still a quarter and a half to go. Gorman puts it down for mid-range. Unbelievable ball game from the home side so far. Nicholson kick out. Rowe just got there. Hurst open in the corner. It's always hard when you have a milestone and, and you know, it's a, it turns out to be a game like this where the opposition can do no wrong from the three-point line. Incredible shooting by Perth. Gorman puts it on the deck. Four seconds. Good child straight down the lane. 14 points to her name. To get through it and look at a shot option. Now straight down the keyway and making the bucket there is Forster. First minutes for her tonight. Bench unit coming to the party as Clark returns fire. Guy Malloy seeing it as a chance to get the Flames back playing their blueprint of basketball, Laurie. There's the pass inside to Clark. There's the start they're after. Star Junior out there for the Lynx. Hannon. And straight away for three. There's a start. Even when she's been glued to the pint. Ash Hannon. Hurst. Just got there to Clark. Muscled up in the foul call. Chibatoni. Now it's Forster off the dribble. Down low. Emily Potter. Controlled the keyway throughout. She did. Clark. Off the dribble, spinning on Chibatoni and Ash Hannon with the help. Perth up numbers momentarily. Cart from Goodchild, runs into traffic. And that's something that they'd want to do, you know, so you can go away and say, well, at least we, we didn't drop our heads. He will make subs thinking ahead to the next game. Um, so it was just interesting having that chat with him about um, their philosophy. Obviously, they want to win. In the league, coming into this game, just under 84 a night, and that trend has continued. 40-point ball game. Richards to the rack for two. Maybe it's halftime. Uh, you know, do we need to get out and get some shots up a bit earlier? Or what's the messages to the coach? But, you know, the nature of the fixturing when you, when you have to factor in venue availability and travel and, and all sorts of things. So a, a chunk of games in a row and then, you know, a 10-day break. First, I'm back to Sydney. 
Spout in the pick. Richards. Mid range J from Spatter, no good. Nice Foster. And clinch Hoy card. And why not? And Richards. Spout in the screen. Bradley. Friendly roll. Extraordinary performance. Guy Malloy, Ryan Petrick shaking hands. And there goes the buzzer. The Lynx make it six in a row over the Sydney Flames. 